Hi, good morning, happy Wednesday. You will see this today. I'm posting this today. It's a crazy day, guys. I'm just a contact creating machine today. I put on a full face for this episode and for the things that I'm filming today. So please enjoy it. I have nowhere to go. I'm literally just sitting in my living room with a full face of makeup. But anyways, this one's going to be a very fun, light episode. It's all about things that I do, that I like, that I like doing, that I will never stop doing, even though people judge me or find it really weird. So basically, if loving this is wrong, then what can I say? And so before we get into that, I'm going to do high low buffalo. If you're new here, it's the good thing that happened in the past week, the bad thing that happened, and the weird thing that happened in the past week. All right, so the high is I had a 24-hour birthday party to go to basically my friend tara and you've probably have seen her if you've been fans of this channel for a while she's been in a few videos and vlogs especially she just turned 24 and so she had a 24-hour birthday party and not gonna lie before i went to the party i was pretty nervous and exhausted to be honest by the idea of it because as an introvert this is pretty much my worst nightmare and I was already pretty tired, socially drained before I got to this party. But anyways, I still went and oh my god, oh my god. I went to this 24-hour birthday party and it revitalized me, rejuvenated me. I came out 20 times better as a person. I think it was because the week before I had been hanging out with guys I had two people staying over one of them you guys saw Dill was staying over and it's nothing against both of them it's literally just because too much male energy it's it's different I just felt like I just hadn't seen a girl in so long and so just hanging out with a bunch of girls and having like a really cute sleepover with them it was so fun it like my childhood little girl was so so happy and i haven't been to a sleepover in so long and i i don't really have a lot of memories from sleepovers because i'm from an asian family and sleepovers aren't a thing we gossiped we talked about politics surprisingly and a lot about how the systems work in the u.s which was really interesting to talk about but we stayed up until 4 a.m we had cake at 3 a.m <laughs> It was so, so cute. I loved it so much. I'm literally healed from that night. Next is my buffalo. Recently, I've been getting into my head again. I've talked about this. It's just like clockwork, a cycle that I go through. But in this case, I've been really in my head about YouTube and content in general. I do really value all of your guys' time and energy when you guys watch my videos. Like, Thank you so much for being here and a huge part of that is making sure that when I create videos they're not just to reach a certain number, to reach a certain watch time, whatever, but I actually want to make sure that they're good quality videos that I am proud of and something that I've been getting into my head on is I feel like I'm a cookie cutter copy of everyone else on youtube i feel like there isn't much uniqueness to what i do and i really want people to come to my channel and remember me for something and remember my content for something i don't know if i've gotten there so far i think the only thing that really makes me stand out at the moment is probably the fact that i'm chinese cambodian and so if i just start posting a bunch of weird shit on my channel please bear with me because i'm just trying to figure it out and kind of land on a style that is unique to me okay the weird thing that has been happening all right i don't know what it is i don't know if it's the time of year i don't know if it's because i'm in my head too much right now but i've been obsessed with buying flowers and candles recently i think i've bought 10 candles in the past two or three weeks and I have currently, I think, four candles lit in my apartment right now. But I've been loving it. I've been loving just having candles. I'm in a candle phase and mood, but even more so than I've ever been in my entire life. I also have been buying flowers. I bought like dry flowers recently, and they're so beautiful. I don't know why I'm buying them. 
yeah that's just a weird thing that's been happening i don't know if you guys have like phases where you guys start buying shit that you don't normally buy and I, right now i'm in a candle and flower phase before i get into the video i wanted to say i had some people reach out to me and ask to put my spotify playlist on my youtube and spotify podcast because you guys like the music that i choose for my videos which is so so sweet and so i heard you guys out in my description from now on if you guys are interested i will drop my playlist and you can stalk me on Spotify and listen to my music. These are some hills that I will die on. <laughs> the first thing is the way that I eat pizza. Fun fact, guys. I eat pizza sideways. So this is the slice. It's like a V. And then the end, take that and I turn it to its side so that the crust is either on the right or the left side and I eat it from the side like somebody would a corn on the cob. And hear me out, I know this is so weird, I get so many looks for doing this. I do this because I like to balance the crust to cheese actual pizza ratio. And so I take like a few bites of the cheese and stuff and then I'll take a bite of the crust and then back and forth but normally if you eat a pizza from you know the tip of the triangle all the way to the crust you have to wait till the end to get the crust but i like to like change things up while i'm eating because i get bored of it Ugh, i'm just tired i'm on my like 10th bite of eating the same cheese and tomato sauce all right i am obsessed this is really how i age myself I'm obsessed with bragging about getting a deal. Like if I bought something and I got it for a steal, if I haggled, I will tell everyone and their mothers the deal that I got. Like I love the item that I buy more than I would have because I haggled for it. And it's like not even the first time I buy it and I'm like telling everyone, I will talk about it if someone compliments me on it later so let's say this sweater here if i got this for a deal like two years from now i will still tell everyone if they're like oh my god your sweater is so cute i'll be like yeah i got it for like 10 bucks like i'll still tell everyone and i'm so so proud of it and i love bragging about it it makes me feel old but whatever i am also obsessed and this is like very relevant right now because john luke he's a youtuber he just stayed over as well he bought whole milk not for my apartment but for himself and he didn't finish the milk and he left it in the fridge which i didn't know until he left and guys whole milk i have a dangerous toxic relationship with whole milk i love whole milk so much it's a very nostalgic food for me i only got it when i was younger whenever i went to my grandma's house she always had whole milk i loved eating it with cereal which is my other thing that i'm like insanely obsessed with cereal and whole milk um yeah i just don't know how to control myself whenever i have either of these things in my fridge and so i eat cereal pretty much every meal which is what i'm pretty much doing right now with the whole milk and i go to sleep excited for the whole milk and cereal the next day which is so funny but bad because i'm like it's like lunch and i'm like yeah after eating my normal lunch i'll be like time to have my cereal and then i'll get to dinner and i'll be like i can't wait to have my cereal it's stupid how much it's silly guys how much i love cereal Another thing that I love, and this really shows my introvert true colors, is I love when people cancel on me. I just had one client cancel on me last week for an appointment coming up this weekend. And more normally, a lot of people would be like, oh, miss opportunity. No, I squealed. <laughs> I was so happy when he canceled on me. I was like, I get an hour or two hours back. If a doctor cancels on me for an appointment or if my friends are like, I really can't make it anymore. Like, can we move it to another day? Like, yes. <laughs> like, yes, please. Another thing I love, which is 
maybe a little controversial is i love wearing shorts i swear by this guys i love wearing shorts on rainy days oh my god i'm like literally trying to run away from the sun right now i love wearing shorts when it's raining because your pants don't get wet and i think one of my pet peeves is when i wear pants and i'm walking outside and i think it might be because we walk so much in new york and so you can't really avoid the rain my pants just get soaked at the bottom because i splash some tiny ass puddle and it gets all over my pants and then when i come into my apartment i drag in water from my pants and doing laundry is annoying in new york city especially if you don't have laundry and dryer in your building which is not a problem i have now but it used to be and so it was annoying if it was a rainy day and i just couldn't wear those pants again just because i got water on it and we all know new york city water is terrible disgusting all the bad things yeah that thing has to go in the laundry asap something that i also really love is when things are extra extra hot or extra extra cold i don't really like lukewarm and so when i get lattes and i want it hot i want it really really hot i want it like scorching my tongue hot and actually this is how i shower as well i love extra hot showers now that i think of it or extra cold showers like i have the dial turned either extreme to the very coldest setting or i have it on the other side which is the hottest setting i'm like touching the limit there's no in between and that's how i shower and drink i get judged for this so hard everyone looks at me so funny when i do this one thing so when i go to mcdonald's and i have a chicken nugget my favorite sauce combination and it's always the combination i always get a ranch and a sweet and sour and i dip both together i like mixing ranch and sweet and sour it's my favorite sauce combination guys and every time i do it people just think i'm so so weird but try it i had my friends try it but they didn't like it i don't know what it is it's just been my favorite i don't i like ranch by itself i like sweet and sour by itself but my favorite is it together another thing i love is doing one huge haul a year and i think i might do a vlog clip on this but basically every year without fail and i think it started when i was in middle school because my dad spoiled me this one year where he took me to go back to school shopping and i felt like a princess i was one of those girls that hold like a million bags in their hand and i remember i bought shoes about pants and i just like had so much fun spending all this money that wasn't mine <laughs> and i think since then i just love that feeling of like starting new and like finding new styles when the weather gets a little bit colder and so i don't really buy too many pieces throughout the year i might buy pieces like one thing here and there exception is this annual fall haul i do so once it gets like september october and i every year think i can resist it but even this year i couldn't and i ended up buying this insane amount of stuff for the fall season and i love trying them on and i love returning them as in like getting the money back and knowing that you know i tried my best to get a piece of clothing and like change my style but it didn't work out but anyways nevertheless i did buy a bunch of clothes i might do a little haul another thing and this is on the same lines is i'm obsessed with checking and tracking packages whenever i order clothes i love checking pretty much every day up until the clothes arrive to my house where it is and when it's getting there i check it like social media i check it three four times a day like i check my email it's like so ridiculous because the status doesn't change but i love love checking it another thing that i love which is might be a little controversial for the asian community is i started using a dishwasher a few weeks ago and i used to hand wash everything but i bought these dishwasher pods because i'm like you know i'm really busy and it would be nice to not have to do dishes and so i bought a bunch of pods and i tested it out and i love 
I love using the dishwasher, guys. It cleans things so much better. And I looked this up because I was nervous about the environmental impact. And, you know, me doing this while I'm talking about how I had a crazy fall haul. You know, whatever. Okay? I don't know. I pick and choose. Anyways, the dishwasher actually uses less water than hand washing. Saves me time. I love it. The last two things on this list of things that I love that might be controversial is one, using copyrighted music in my videos. And I used to do this a lot when I was younger and I never took credit for it, guys. Like I know I'm not the girl who created like Selena Gomez's like blah, blah, blah song. Like everyone and their mothers know, but it's wrong to still use copyrighted music. I didn't buy the music. I illegally downloaded whatever, sue me. And it just hits different than using music that might be royalty free because I, on a daily basis, listen to so much music and discover so much music that I'm obsessed with and that I physically note down in my phone to use it in a video. Because I can imagine sometimes when I'm listening to a song, what visuals it would go along with. And I'm like, this would be amazing for this kind of scene. And it happens to me on a normal, random basis. And it's been a little bit annoying because recently I decided to switch over to, you know, being a good human being and using royalty free music. But it's just really not hitting. And so... What I decided, just to like balance things out and compromise a little bit, for these podcast episodes, I will continue using royalty-free music. But for my vlogs, which I do upload very rarely, once a month-ish, less frequently than my podcast episodes, I will be using copyrighted music. Okay? And that's done. All right, the last thing I will say, I get so much shit for this, but I love clubbing and dancing to pop hits like throwbacks you know white girly music yeah i love that i love part of the usa i love like all that crap <laughs> i don't care if the cool thing is to listen to edm house music rap music i don't freaking care i will continue dancing at the club and like screaming every time party in the usa comes on why is that the only one coming up to my head but you know what i mean like those kinds of songs that everyone's like oh god like no music taste yeah i'm one of those people that's my list of hills i will die on list of if loving this is wrong then whatever who cares let me know if you guys have any other things to add on this list for yourself. I would love to hear your ideas and maybe we agree on some things or maybe I'm going to also look at you weird, but you know, no hard feelings. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You can hit the subscribe button right here or you can click the video that's recommended to you. But besides that, don't forget to rate the podcast Follow the podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcasts because it would mean the world. Have the best week. Mwah! Bye.